This is Thundercats Classics Six Inch Mumra, part of Wave One of the new Six Inch line, Six Inch Classic line from Bandai. Uh, I really like this figure. I really do. Um, when I was trying to decide which of these two I liked better, the Classic or the 2011 Thundercats, just like Lion-O, I just can't decide. So I decided to do a little versus video. I'm going to show you the merits of both. I'm going to go more in depth into him since he's the newer one, but I'm going to, you get the idea. Anyway, let's look at the package. Um, in the package, Classics definitely wins. Look at that. It's the same bubble. Well, let, let me show you. This is the 2011 Mumra package. It's really ugly. Just that simple, you know, bubble box thing, which is the same thing over here, but it's got cardboard around it, nice cardboard. It just, it looks so much better. Where's the one I opened? Nah, I can't find it. So we'll just take a look at this one. Here's the back. The back's got great artwork on it. Well, <laughs> as great as 80s artwork can be. Here he is. Mumra. There's Lino. I already I already reviewed him with 2011 Lino. And then Tigra and Chitara just came out for the 27 line in 6 inch figures as well. Alright. On to the figures. Alright, overall looks of these guys. Overall look of him. He does look more 80s than the 2011 one does. And I mean, I, it's for, that's for obvious reasons, of course. But uh, he just doesn't have, he just doesn't look as featured and as, you know, he doesn't, doesn't look modern, like a modern toy, really. At least, at least to me, he doesn't. Um, as you can see, he's got the same basic costume. The new one has the same basic costume as him. I like the new ones. Uh, uh, I like the new ones' duds better, though, um, just for various reasons. The helmet's almost exactly the same, but I mean, he has better like wrist wristbands. He's only got this one, and it's got a silly spike on it. If you can see that silly spike. Oops! Get out of here, Lionel. I'll just try to chime in. Beat it. Um, and then the tunic. I like the mold of this one better and the colors and everything. I like the, the look of it better. And they, they designed it in such a way that it doesn't impede articulation. It still impedes it, but not nearly as much as classic Mamra. Look at his. It's just, uh, uh. That's about it. <laughs> so that's annoying. At first I thought he looked like he kind of had a surprised face, which he does if you look straight on. If you look at it like that, it looks a little scarier. So yeah, overall look, I prefer him, just because I prefer this Mumra over the other one. You know, he, he's darker. Like his actual colors are darker. He just seems more evil to me and more dangerous, more vicious. I mean, I like his hands. They're a lot spindlier, and I don't know. I, I, I really like him. I really like the new Thundercats cartoon. All right, the mold on this guy, he looks just like a classic, you know, the Mumra from the cartoon does. Um, it's very simple, and that's one of the things I like about it. That's what's making it so hard for me to uh, choose one. I mean, even though it has its problems, like this tunic thing, I still really, really like it. <clears throat> so these things coming off of him, these are accessories that he comes with. Um, only really accessories that he comes with. They're these little, I don't know, bands or whatever, part of his costume, I guess. It's supposed to be kind of flowing out from him whenever he turns into Mumra and he goes, I am Mumra! There's always, always all this wind blowing. <laughs> 
So that's what that's about. And they're a little hard to get on, and I'll show you that in a second. I just want to show you his hands first. He has these hands like you can see, and then he has a gripping hand for each hand, for each arm, I guess. Um, and that's it. He doesn't come with any weapons or anything like that. So uh, 2011 Mumra wins on the accessories category. So these things, people are getting really confused with them. Um, first off, people are getting confused because they can't find the instructions. Um, when you open up the box, there'll be a little back, like this little display back, kind of like this thing, but red and with the snake logo. And you have to pull that out, and then the instructions will be behind that. So between the, in the insert display and the box, in between there is the instructions. But when you open the instructions and look at these things, the drawings aren't accurate, and they're almost no help at all. <laughs> so there's two holes on his back, and they got these little pegs on them. This one's right in the middle, so that one clips on very nicely, and it, and it looks pretty good, too. Um, the thing is, the clips, the little pegs, are angled. See how it's kind of at an angle there? So you can only put it in one way for it to go in all the way and stick there securely. If you try to put it in upside down, it's not going to go in. And then on this one, the peg is on the very end of, of the rope. So if you just plug it in, it's going to be like this. It's ridiculous. So what I ended up doing was just um, disregarding the instructions and then trying to come up with something on my own. So, I actually, first I did it without plugging it in. I just kind of tied it, I just kind of manipulated it in there and used the other one, the other band, to try and like uh, secure it down. But, you're so freaking hard to get in there. Come on, buddy. Anyway, so then that's what it looks like. Doesn't look too scary, huh? So, while you're holding it in there, press down because it'll pop out in a second. Just kind of wrap it around him or put some up here, get some over his arms. Maybe put it through his arms, like that. See, so look, it already came off. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it around there wrap it around here maybe and then just kind of anchor it down underneath the other one if you want to uh, see how I did it exactly when I had this thing set up in the very beginning of the review just uh, ask me and I'll try and do a video on that giving you exact instructions on how to do it because in the beginning of the, the review it looked really cool now it's just kind of blah because I try to do it really quickly anyway that's that <laughs> So the accessories on so the accessories on this guy, not that great. Accessories on him are sick. It comes with this uh, eye dagger thing. It's supposed to be, I guess, his anti version of the Sword of Omens. These hands, the comes with open hands and gripping hands for both his hands. This thing comes off. The helmet pops off, and you have to apply. You have to attach these and these things to him. It doesn't come attached, so you just pop off the helmet, put that on there, and then bam. And they're really hard, the helmet's really got hard to get off at first. These things are hard to get in, you have to push really hard. These, these Thundercats toys, man, they make it really hard for you to do stuff like that. I can't believe how they expect kids to do it. Okay, and then it's little, it's like this really long, I don't know, it's a sickle, some sort of slashing tool. And these come apart. And the instruction is just through a picture and it says snap in so what you're supposed to do here is put that through and then clip it on because his his grip is tight you might uh, hurt your thumbs playing with this thing after I did it a few times it loosened up or you could loosen it up with some hot water and reshape it but anyway okay so those are the accessories no display stand with them, which I really I really wish they had some oh and he's got this gauntlet thingy is kind of weird. I'm not. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's just kind of odd and cumbersome. Right, 
they don't have display stands, and sometimes they do need them. Okay, uh, we're just do accessories. All right, let's move on to the articulation. As far as articulation goes, they pretty much have the same articulation. Ball jointed. Let me do it this way. Ball jointed head. Boop, boop, left, right, back and forward. Left and right, 360. Up and down a little bit. Ball hinge. Uh, shoulders, so they 360 in and out. Swivel. Sorry, I was holding them way up there. Okay, ball jointed head, 360, up and down. Ball hinge, shoulders, 360, in and out, up and around. Swivel, bicep, 360, single hinge, elbow. A swivel, forearm, and then a ball uh, swivel hand. I think it's technically a ball joint, but it's just swivelly. And then he's got a... Yeah, it's... It, I think it's just a plain swivel. I mean, I can't get him to go forward or side to side. And he has a swivel hinge uh, hips, so he could go all the way out if this tunic wasn't here and all the way forward. He's got a sw swivel at the thigh, 360, double hinge knee, so a really nice movement there. Swivel at the boot and a hinge foot that sits on up. Oh, just a hinge foot. It might have a swivel at the bottom, but if there is, I couldn't do it because it's too. It, uh, it was just too packed down there, so you really couldn't get the movement. So only expected to get a hinge out of his ankles. All right, so articulation of classic Mumra. It's pretty much the same. It's got a ball jointed head, but that's just pretty much swivel back and forth. I mean, swivel 360. Ball hinge shoulders, swivel bicep, single hinge elbow. He has a ball jointed wrist, swivel, and it can go back and forth a little bit. That's that's like a the exact definition of a ball and socket joint right there. He has a ball hinge, waist, swivels, 360, and it bends like that. And he's got the same hips that go the swivel hinge, swivel out hinge forward, but the tunic is horribly, horribly getting in the way. Swivel thigh, double hinge knee, swivel boot, hinge ankle, that sits on a swivel. All right. um, I don't know why they opted to not go for the double articulation in the chest and waist, and just giving it the waist. These are the, I think these are like the only ones besides Chichara that have been that way. And that's a real shame. I don't know why they would go that route. That's just ridiculous. God, stand up, Mamra. He's just so heavy. Okay. I don't think I did the paint application yet, did I? No, I didn't. Let's look at the paint. It's very simple. It's just this one... Uh, grayish tone for his skin, no shading or toning in that. The cobra or the snake sign is awesome, it's really beautiful. Um, simple gold there, gold metallic, nothing, no detail in it. Um, he's got the tunic, which is just these almost flat, almost matte um, finish, gold here, and then his boots are probably the nicest paint application on him. And then his helmet is really nice too, it's a real glossy helmet. Very simple colors. Metallic though. And then his face is nice. Look at that. I mean there's this, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no quality issues on that paint at all. I mean look how look how clean his teeth are in his mouth. And in his eyes, there's no bleed through. <clears throat> okay, now let's take a look at 2011 Mumra. His paint is very simple as well. It's got that darker skin tone, which I really like, and it's got a satiny finish to it. The, the snake the snake symbol is, is just as nicely printed as that one, and he's got this great gold, it's almost like an orangish gold on his helmet and these little pieces on his uh, chest, and then on his wrists and elbows, and down here it's this nice, just uh, more of a yellowy gold. The purple and red I really like as well. There's more on his foot, just that simple metallic-y. 
and then his helmet is got a little bit of gold right here in the black snakes. I really like that his helmet's removable. And then his face is really small in there, but it's still flawless. His gauntlet is just a silver, I mean a simple gold, and the same thing with his sword thingy, it's a simple silver. So they two are about the same size. Let's take a look at their lion -O counterparts. I mean, these guys are huge compared to lion -O. Look at it. Just towers over him. Hey, can I have some lunch money, please? <laughs> Here we got classic. Just towers over him as well. Whoa. Sorry. Wouldn't it be funny if that happened and then that was my last video you never heard from me again? <laughs> I think he broke his camera. They're a lot taller than a uh, deluxe class transformer. They're really tall. Just a little taller than a DCU soups. They're, they're, they're big figures. <clears throat> All right. Should you get these guys? If you hate the 80s cartoon, get the new one. If you hate the new one, get the 80s one. Or the classic one. If you like both, that's where I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> I tend to like him because he has better articulation and he, he's, I, I feel like he's a more quality, I think he's more value for your money. But if you just like molds and putting them on display, this guy. That's what I like about him. I like both their molds, but I really like him. I think he looks really cool, even though he's so simple. So if you're an articulation guy, an accessory guy, get him. If not, and you like molds and you like the original classics, get him. All right, upcoming. I've got the Armor of Omens upcoming, and then I'm going to move on to some uh, Star Wars stuff that a few people have asked me to, few people have asked me to review. Um, I, right now I'm going to start doing a bunch of my uh, older older toys. i got Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Marvel Universe. Can you send me some lists of stuff that you want reviewed? And then if I have it, I will review it. I would really appreciate that. And I'd really appreciate if you could tell me what you think of the... I switched back to the old design layout, the old design template for my channel. Tell me if you like it, the old one, or the new one better, the one that I switched it from. Um, I'd like to have it the way is most convenient for you guys. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. Hope you found it helpful. Till next time, keep collecting.